Despite no available low, ba low barrier shelter space at the moment, abatement notices are being served to those camping in Cuddy Park because of an event that will be happening in mid-June. Tent after tent has sprung up at Cuddy Park in Midtown Anchorage, but now they're to be taken down after abatement notices were handed out on Wednesday with Parks and Recreation citing a multi-day concert event happening next month. Anchorage Parks and Recreation Director Mike Braniff says a permit was sold to Showdown Alaska for the event, which is set to host some 10,000 people. What this comes down to at this point is, is a commitment we've made um, to an event organizer and expensive permit that we've issued for them to use the park for 10 days. Now those camping in and around Cuddy Park are being given 10 days to leave and try to find somewhere else to stay. Officers on Wednesday going tent to tent, person by person, distributing abatement notices. We are trying to take a sensitive approach where we give people a lot of time to pack up and, and work on their plans and to work with them once the process starts. While it's clear people living here will have to move, where they will go remains uncertain. I cannot make suggestions where to go or anything. What I, I will tell you is suggest and re reach out to uh, resources that you know the health department has and uh, be able to hopefully uh, be uh, relocated in a different place. Here for you, you got 10 days to, to pack up camp and leave. But for the time being, for this past month, it's been peaceful and quiet. But for the problem, the cops are polite about it. But what they will do is if in 10 days I'm still here, They'll say you have 10 minutes to get your stuff and go. And if I cause a front, then I get arrested and go to jail. Sinar Caicedo has been living at Cuddy Park for the past few weeks. He says he has a plan, and with a job and a storage unit, he has options. But that's not the case for everyone. Well, the 90 people that are going to be kicked out at the end of this month are handicapped and such directly ill. And they're going to be on the streets as well. Now we have a problem. Everyone's got to go. You're going to have a population of United States citizens with nowhere to go. Without low barrier shelter options available to the hundreds of homeless people who are out in the streets of Anchorage, okay. those camping on public land couldn't be legally forced to move from those spaces without providing another option. But under these particular circumstances, the municipality says it's comfortable with its current plan. We've worked with the Department of Law to, to review the approach we're taking, and I believe we feel comfortable the municipality feels comfortable that this approach is legal. Braniff says the municipality will be acting on the abatement starting June 6th to try to give ample time for the park to be ready, clean and cleared out before the event. Alaska's news source reached out to Showdown Alaska, which is, a, which is organizing the concert series. That group has not responded to a request for comment. Beth? 